Are you ready to sketch along with me as we practice free motion quilting designs? I'm Andy and this is True Blue Quilts. I'm so glad you decided to join me with these skill builder exercises. Today's block is flying geese and we're going to sketch a fleur de lis. For today's block with flying geese, I'm going to use a fleur de lis pattern. And this pattern combines a hook with a flame. So you can practice your hooks just to both sides. We're going to need to go to the right and to the left with those. And also the flame, which is a really gentle S and then the mirror image. And sometimes I get in the echo mode, so it's, I have to really think of that fat petal with a point. So for the flying geese, to put this shape in a triangle, you can see how we want to build that up to the point of the triangle. So I'm going to start in the middle of the <clears throat> base triangle and I'm going to make my hook and I'm going to make my flame and then you can decide you can travel through the center of that block to get to the next one or you could stitch in the ditch around it. And as we've said before, you can continue using the same pattern in all these other areas. Even though you may not make a quilt that way, you wouldn't want to fill up all the sections of the block with the D that same design, it would get a little busy and cluttered to have these fleur-de-lis elements going, but it gives you good practice to put those elements everywhere. We've got a whole page to fill up, we might as well practice sketching. Uh, and. I want you to focus on treating the paper just like your fabric. If you are working at your domestic machine, think about how much you would want to turn that block. Would you want to turn every single triangle to practice that? Probably not. You may want to do half of it and then travel over to this side leave your needle down and then reposition and then we can practice again. And I changed that design a little bit. I wanted to see what my drawing would look like if I do both hooks and then the flame stitch. Am I able to get a better design there. And we have room for one more. Let's see if I can do this kind of upside down and backwards. You want to stretch your brain to draw in all directions and fill this bottom one also. And there we have our flying geese with fleur-de-lis. If you'd like to follow along and sketch these free motion motifs on these classic block diagrams, please download the companion workbook at truebluequilts.com. For more free motion quilting ideas, check out the video below. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.